Okay, the next thing I want to show you is a demonstration that's going to hopefully give you um, a little more confidence in using the products because I do not use any chemicals in my kitchen. I used to use Lysol wipes, but now I simply just use a cloth wet with water. So I'm now going to show you a test using some um, protein swabs and this will show you kind of what's going on on a microscopic level and how well things are being cleaned off of the surface. This is easy to see. Um, you can visually see how well these cloths are going to clean windows and other surfaces like that. So now I'm going to show you a demonstration using some raw eggs. So I'm going to go to the, down to my counter here so you can see what's going on. Let's go down here as well. So I have some um, raw egg and egg is high in protein so I can do this with some raw chicken, um, anything like that. And I'm just going to put this on my counter and I'm going to use a kitchen cloth because I could do this with the Enviro cloth as well. Um, the kitchen cloth is just nice because it just stays in my kitchen. So it's just always going to be cleaning up these kinds of messes. And so I just swab this with one of these protein swabs and I'm going to let it activate to show you a positive result. It will turn purple. Now the reason I'm using protein swabs is because bacteria need that host cell to uh, live and reproduce on. They really thrive on protein. And so if there isn't a presence for protein, we're not going to be concerned for bacteria causing problems. And so these swabs are testing for protein. These are the same swabs that an inspector would use in a restaurant or another facility to check the cleanliness. Um, they, they do the exact same thing. They go around swabbing surfaces to make sure they're getting adequately clean. So this is a very good representation of how well our services are getting cleaned in the home using our microfiber cloths. So you can see this is turning purple already. Purple is positive. Any change um, is a positive result. So that one's already purple. And now I'm going to use a kitchen cloth. Like I said, I could use the Enviro cloth, but the kitchen cloth is just a little bit smaller. It's just knit a little bit differently. Um, a little bit easier to pick up crumbs and things also rinse out of it easier as well. And I already got this wet. And when you use these cloths, it's just easiest to fold it in half, fold it in half again. Same thing with the Enviro cloth. That gives you eight clean surfaces to rotate through as you clean. So if one side gets dirty, you can just kind of flip it over and keep going. Um, and if you use it flat, that just helps you best use the microfiber properties. So more of those tiny little microfibers are going to be going across that surface just scooping everything up into this cloth. And so I'm going to wipe up this raw egg. Uh, I can zoom in a little bit here so you can see. Right down here. Yucky. <laughs> Ew. Alright, so I'm going to use my wet kitchen cloth to wipe up all this raw egg. Nothing special. I will rinse this out later. I'm just going to set it there for right now. And then I'm going to re-swab the surface with another protein swab. And this is going to show you that these cloths are truly going to pick everything up off of your surface. So you can use it to clean up raw chicken, um, raw egg, everything in your kitchen. You can truly trust it to clean and know that it's going to pick everything up and there's nothing left behind. And it's truly even cleaner because there's no chemical residue left behind either. So this is going to stay a bright clean bright green color showing you that it truly is clean, it is sanitized, it has picked everything up off of the surface, it has trapped it into the cloth and not just spread it around. So we have the green is obviously the after, the, the clean, and the purple was before where it's dirty. Um, that is going to stay a bright green, if you can see that, a little bit higher there. Um, but it's truly clean. The surface is sanitized. It would pass an inspection if someone came here. Um, I could lick the surface if I wanted to. I'm not going to. <laughs> but it's truly clean. So it is going to be, um, it's a mindset change to use Norwex and not use any chemicals. So it will be an adjustment. Um, we are all skeptics when we first learn about it. I know I was. And it took me a couple weeks, even a couple months for some of these products just to get used to it and really trust it. And know it so um, that's it it truly is clean with just with just the cloth and water I love it um, okay the next thing I want to show you here is um, I will show you the makeup removal cloth 
And actually you can see here I do have some of our personal care products. We do have um, a wonderful skincare product line. Um, it's organic products, just great, very high quality. Um, definitely worth a try to try it out. I do have samples as well. We can, I can give to you too. Um, but for taking off makeup or for in the shower, we have um, body cloths. And the body cloths, they're still microfiber, doing the same thing. They're going to get oil and bacteria, makeup, all that kind of stuff off of your skin. It's the same thing. The microfiber, they really are just grabby. That's the best way to describe them. Once you start to use it, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. Um, so I shower without using any soap. <laughs> I just use these cloths. My whole family does. My husband does. We don't use any soap on our kids. Um, and that's because the microfiber is grabbing all the dirt. We do not need any soaps. A lot of the soaps have a lot of perfumes, which means lots of chemicals. Um, and again, it's going to leave a residue behind on your skin. So we are cleaner now because of it. Um, so the micro or the body cloths, this is one of the body cloths. It's a full size. They come as three packs. Um, there's also a makeup removal package. It's a little bit smaller. It's more gentle. So if you have sensitive skin or just want a real gentle clean, it would be the makeup removal package. A three pack or there is a baby body pack. Again, it's smaller. A lot like the um, adult body pack, just a little bit smaller, different colors, maybe a little more gentle as well. So I'm just going to show you on my hands, it's going to be a little bit easier than zooming in on my face. <laughs> I'm just going to put some mascara on my hand to show you that it will even get mascara, it will get waterproof mascara up. Um, you can see the mascara on my hand and I got this body cloth wet already. Um, so it's going to take this right off of my hand without having to use any, so you don't need any makeup removal products, you don't need um, any facial cleansers, so we'll save you money there. And then I just wiped that right off, so took all my mascara right off. Um, so I just clean my face, you just get the cloth wet, wipe your face down, wipe your whole body down, um, they work awesome. And so when you're done, you just rinse these out in warm water. With all of these, that's pretty much what you're going to do after you use them. The one with the egg in it, I would just rinse it really well with warm water, hang it to dry using that nice little tag. Uh, if it's something really dirty like raw egg, raw chicken, if you're going to clean your toilet, something like that, just consider the cloth dirty. The anti-back will self-sanitize that for you, um, but just to remove any room for error, just hang it to dry, grab a new cloth and you're doing something really dirty like those kind of things that I just mentioned. So the body cloth you can use for a couple days, kind of up to you. Um, you can see the mascara and the cloth. Um, it will rinse out. This cloth in particular is actually over two years old now. I don't have any stains on it. Um, there is a way to deep clean these as well. You can just ask me about that if you need that kind of cleaning if you're there yet. Um, but this works, this works super, super well. Um, Alright, then last thing I want to show you is our, our mop. I'm not going to do the whole mop system. Um, but I'll just show you real briefly because it's another very popular product. Um, if you become a consultant, you can get it for free. A lot of people will host parties to get the mop at a discount or get it for free as well. Um, but we have different mop pads. This is our small size. This is the large size. Um, you just get the pad wet, with, pad wet with water. You don't need any buckets of water. No sprays, no cleaners. So it's super easy. It works really well. Um, the mop pole is very nice. It is adjustable. Let me sit back out of here for a second. Um, and it is, sorry, it's kind of to show you the whole thing. But the mop pole is adjustable. The base is Velcro. So if you already have a pole that is Velcro, you can just buy the pads. Oops, I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> like I said, this is adjustable right here. So it's different heights. Um, like this. And when you use the dry ones, there is a rubber brush that makes it super easy to keep these things clean. You just brush the dirt, the pet hair, all that kind of stuff right into the trash can and you can keep using it. The blue one is going to get wet to um, mop your floors. And so I simply just get this pad wet. I can go ahead and show you what I do because it's super easy. 
The end of this mop pole is also rubberized so I can prop it up against the corner and it won't slide away. So I'm just going to get this wet with water and I'll show you just how I wring it out. This is safe for all floor types. Hardwood floor, linoleum, tile, everything. It dries super fast, not enough water sitting on the floor to do any damage. So you can use on every surface. So after you get the whole pad wet, you're just going to roll it up. And as you roll it, you're just going to squeeze out the excess water. And that's it. You just slap it on. General cleaning rule is to clean from clean to dirty. That's with everything. So I would end with you know, greasy surfaces on windows and mirrors. Um, but in the floors, you're probably going to want to end at your table where you eat, where probably the majority of your messes are going to be. Um, so that way you're not spreading that dirt someplace else. But that's it. So this is wet. I would just slap it right on my mop and go to town cleaning. It's that simple. So to wash these products, um, you're just going to want to wash them in warm or hot water. You can wash them in your washing machine and dry them in your dryer. You do not want to use fabric softener. Um, not only are fabric softeners really bad because they're very high in chemicals and also in contact with your skin 24-7 pretty much if they're on your clothes and then your body can ingest those or absorb those chemicals into your bloodstream. <laughs> but they are... Um, they prevent the microfiber in our cloths from being able to grab. So you don't want to use micro, don't want to use fabric softener when you're washing these. And you also do not want to use bleach because bleach will permanently damage the fibers. They will create little snags, potentially little holes in your cloths. Um, and you do not want to wash them with towels because they will just grab the lint off of your towels. So you'll see how well they can grab those tiny little things, tiny little lint off of them and trap them into the fibers. Um, to replace fabric softeners, we do have a couple different options now. We have two different dryer balls. You can just put these in your dryer instead. Or we now have wool dryer balls. It comes as a three pack. And if you're going to miss the smell of your fabric softeners, the wool ones allow you to be able to add um, essential oils or some type of scent into your dryer so you can still get a nice clean smell without having to use the chemicals of fabric softener. Um, or these are um, another great option as well. These dryer balls are going to reduce your drying time. They just make drying more efficiently. They're going to help reduce wrinkles. They're going to last probably three to five years. So they're going to save you money on fabric softener as well. Um, but that's what you're going to use instead of fabric softener. Detergent-wise, you just want to use something that doesn't have, again, bleach, fabric softeners. Um, and if you can get something that's low in fillers, something that's more earth-friendly, it's going to be better. Um, we have, let me go down here and show you these, um, this, this jar is going to show you what fillers are. Fillers are going to be, this is real white and cloudy, there's a white residue. It's basically product in the detergent that doesn't dissolve, and the reason that that's bad just with these is because of that antibacterial feature that I mentioned that allows you to be able to reuse these cloths. It prevents that silver from working in the cloth. So they're just going to start to smell faster basically. This is the Norwex detergent. Um, I would highly suggest it because it obviously doesn't have any fillers, perfumes, chemicals. Um, it is a powder. There's one load's worth just like the other leading brand detergent here was a powder for one load's worth. Um, so there's not the fillers in it. Um, it works great. I use it with my kids' clothes and stains and stinky clothes and all that kind of stuff, and it truly works really well. Um, it does work well in cold water. I know you want to wash the Norwex in warm water, um, but it works great in cold water as well. And so they, this is the bag. Um, I suggest that it's actually going to be the cheapest per load that you're going to be able to find out there of a good quality detergent. So I can get about 250 HE loads. Um, with at one to two teaspoon, that's all you need because it's so concentrated. It purely just has the necessary ingredients for cleaning your clothes. So it's not a very large amount at all. If you have a regular top loader, it's one to two tablespoons. So still it's not very much. Um, the bag is going to give you, it's going to be about probably 10 and 11 cents per load. So it's just a lot, a lot cheaper. So, and it's great detergent. 
All right, well, I think that's it. Hopefully that gave you an idea of um, some of the basic, most popular products, the things we use on a regular basis. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to call me or email me. Um, there's a lot of information that's hard to cram into a short video. Um, so I appreciate your time and um, contact me if you have any questions. All right, thank you.